So for the next six minutes, I will take you through a design project that has no blueprints, no customer journeys. Um, it's a project I managed together with a colleague whose daily basis working as a sales manager. Um, but well, I think with the title, we need to jump right through the answer. So yes, we found that women do make sales become a service. So this is not to say that female is the only way you can transform a technical organization to be more customer oriented. But in our culture, we found that using something opposite than what we do today can move us forward. Here you have some nine women from six different countries. So I'm the only designer in the team. The rest of them is on a daily basis working in sales directly with customer interactions. And they participated because they wanted to and because they also believe that using a different approach in sales is a way we can transform our organizations. So I come from MAN Diesel and Turbo. It's about engines, really, really, really big engines, technical systems, engineering, structure. These are the keywords in our current setup. And I come from the part of our company that's concerned with after sales service. That is spare parts, it's maintenance, it's technical advice, and we even have created our own sub-brand. It's called MAN PrimeServe. So we're an OEM service company with a PrimeServe as a brand. So we need to serve the possible best for our customers. That's some brand promise, I think. Um, so our customers, this is basic stuff at the moment, very, very, very financial pressured. And they are becoming bigger and more centralized. That means that they are talking more about procurement instead of technical issues. And our competitors, they are coming in with very low priced products. And our margins are quite high. So today in sales, we have a guy sitting there. He's a marine engineer of background. And he loves talking about products, technical issues, details. But let's face it, if sales is a service, is it the products that's the center? Or should it be the customer that's the center? So we need to transform the dialogue. One way of doing that is by replacing this technician with someone who has an interest in people, has a more holistic perspective, and has a true interest in actually connecting our offerings with the customer requirements and solving real issues. So this is a female. So why is this? service person suddenly a female. We took a PhD researcher into our project and he has been researching in what is the difference between men and women and how does that actually come into the way we approach the world. And if you look at the majority of men and the majority of women, there's a difference. If you take the women, they have a more empathic worldview. If you take the men, they have a more systemic worldview. Um, but you can also see that there's actually a bigger variability between men than between the majority of men and women. So it's a continuum, but there's a difference. If you look at girls playing with Barbie dolls, that's the empathic worldview. It's plays where they change the rules as they go along. They integrate information from the context into the play, and it's centered around social needs. So that's the empathic worldview that women possesses. Then if you take boys playing, they play football. Football is a game where rules rules. They don't change in football. It's a game where if there's information in the context, you don't integrate it. It's logic and it's centered around the ball. It's centered around the things. So these are the gender differences we found within men and women. This is a sales project. So we also needed to look at, okay, how is this then related to sales? So we had a lot of our colleagues pitch in with stories about what they see as strong sales. So here you see an interesting finding. Our male colleagues thought that they were producing strong sales if they talked about product. The women actually thought that they were doing strong sales if they listened to the customer. So hopefully this makes it a bit clearer to you why by using female as a design parameter, you can shift the conversation from product technical to customer and service instead. When we started this project, it's called Female Sales Approach. We were asked to draft a female profile. What is the one person we should hire to transform our business? 
but we are a holistic, context-oriented female, so it just didn't quite cut it with the profile. So we recommend for the management, change the profiles, change the techniques, and of course, change the setup around these people in our organization. So we developed the persona Louise Anderson. She is a woman, but we're not recommending hiring women only. We are recommending hiring people that has commercial fare and customer and market understanding as their main competencies. Today, this is not a profile for a salesperson in our organization. So HR can use this when recruiting. We have also developed 10 sales techniques. Um, they are based on extensive sales excellence research um, and have coupled them with images of strong women. And 90% of our sales personnel are men, so I believe these card when they are incidents to the organization but create some interesting dialogue in the offices. The final thing we've recommended is the idea of a key account network. Probably most of you have heard about key account management. That's the title, that's a hierarchy, a way of thinking about um, organizing yourself around the customer. But we want a networked approach instead. Sharing, collaborative, a more female approach. So all of these three recommendations they can be used in our existing projects, our existing programs, and simply altering what we're already doing. So these three simple recommendations makes it easy for our management globally to change the way we work with sales. And at last, I have some QR codes and websites for connecting. So thank you. <laughs>